I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your bullish bit brought to you by bitrefill.com, the easiest place to shop and get all of your needs met with Bitcoin and Lightning transactions. You can head over here. They've got gift cards from Amazon, Walmart, Steam, Uber, Instacart, Airbnb, Apple. The list goes on, but they have you covered. You can be living on a Bitcoin standard like me, and Bitrefill has been a godsend. So head to bitrefill.com and use code BTC Sessions at checkout for discounts. Up until now, kind of the, the option was if if you're hedging against human error and you want something kind of distributed, collaborative multi-sig was kind of your option, but it came at the price of privacy, right? So you go to Unchained or you go to Casa and it's great because you have like, they never have control of your money. They've just got like, a, they've got a just in case key and uh, and they can sign for you if you lose almost everything that you're supposed to actually be responsible for. And so, you know, the, the prospect of that is nice because you can say to your family, well, we've got a couple devices and we've got a couple backups and we put them in different places. And even if you lose 75% of that shit, you can still go to Unchained, say, and uh, and then say, oh, yeah, you know, I'm I here's proof that I'm next of kin and, you know, our, you know, Ben died <laughs> and uh, and I have this one key and that's it. Uh, and then they can at least recover your funds. But the issue, the privacy issue of being heavily KYC in the process is it's a bit of a honeypot of information. So like the 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 thought for me always was like, one, and this wasn't a consideration before, but state attack now in Canada, I, I see that as like an actual possibility of like, oh, well, maybe the government will just say we don't like that and then go to the company and say, give us a list of all your users and what they had held with you. And then you're coerced into releasing it. Um, and then on top of that, just like what if a database gets hacked and it's, you know, here's so-and-so who's been heavily KYC'd, here's where they live, everything. And then here's the XPUB to their money and this is how much Bitcoin they have. And then that becomes like, you know, if you've been around for a little bit and there's like a decent amount of coin in there, all of a sudden somebody can actually kind of decipher, huh, is it worth, is it, worth it for me to make a road trip with my $5 wrench to go visit this guy? So it becomes a worry. And so um, the thing that I was kind of stoked about that I tried out this week was um, what Nunchuck Wallet has done. And they've done kind of a collaborative multi-sig slash inheritance planning thing um, in, in the vein of like Unchained or CASA, but it requires no KYC. So you can literally just do it with an email address and that can just be like a dummy email address. Or you can, and not yet, but soon you'll be able to actually just log in with a private key. So even less, um, and even less identification involved. And the same goes for the, the beneficiary. Like if you're leaving money to, to people, um, you give them some information that allows them to get access to that money down the road, uh, but they never actually have to identify themselves either. 